All right, so maybe I have to look in context and look at this video or what this one girl is doing, but yeah, I most likely have to do it to understand why exactly she's calling Miraculous, well, basically season four, maybe even season three, complete trash, and that the series was doomed from the very, very beginning. Well, let's go with what she was talking about, the origins. If you guys notice, if you go way back, I was a part of Miraculous ever since they tried to, since Nickelodeon was like, hmm, this is an interesting show. We can definitely actually do something with this show. And he put it on at 8.30 in the morning on Saturdays. And you didn't think that's a good idea to put where Power Rangers was to have a freaking power hour? You dumbass idiot. Well, Disney did it. Oh, Disney did it. Oh, Disney did it. You think Disney knows any better at all? If Disney knew what they were doing, Power Rangers would already have like, what, two free damn movies. With Disney at Power Rangers, nothing truly happened. We got some figures. Awesome. But that's about it. And, of course, at least we got season by season. They're like, your asses. No offense, but it's like, you guys, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm sorry, but you guys, again, what the fuck? Splitting into two seasons. Are you a dumbass idiot or what? But yeah, it's kind of funny that eventually Disney got to have Miraculous and wow, two freaking specials. They showed your ass, Nickelodeon. They showed your ass like 110% showed your ass. So anyways, yeah, so I watched Miraculous on Nickelodeon. It was the first season. Then it got dropped. Then, thank goodness, I had lots of connections. I got to watch season one uh, well technically season two and basically season three and well thank goodness kids click actually kind of had something going on i'm like oh thank goodness now i can officially watch the, sh the episodes without any issues but then of course well kids click actually crashed and burn damn but disney took up the mantle and i was officially able to watch season three and officially watch season four and since i don't have my connections anymore due to a Shurion being a dumbass idiot which we're gonna cancel their freaking support this month <laughs> i basically watched the whole entire series from beginning to now am i looking at this by nostalgia what nostalgia what nostalgia really Oop, looks like I gotta go, but still, the thing is that I don't know exactly what we're really talking here, but I don't think it's trash, it's simplistic, I bet. Do you want it really to go down deep into, like, you know, mm, there are some deeper meanings, there's just some things, for me, it's like, it's the theory, the thoughts of thinking about, what about this, what about the future, what about what's going on with Adrian's mom, and what happened, and it's like, we kind of already know what's going on there, and it's, it's just interesting, there's lots and lots of pieces here, as for the whole thing of the love that can't really be, but it can, it's like, you can't basically be like, oh, well, that's just crap, it's like, look what they're doing to free Spider-Man, and Spider-Man got freaking fucked over extremely fucked over ever since um what one more day yeah got fucked over and then they're allowing him to never be with mj ever again because apparently the fans can't actually take spider-man having a freaking damn family given nowadays they have miles morales the fuck man the fuck yeah the fuck so yeah there's just some interesting crazy stuff that's going on and I'm going to have to watch her freaking video to understand what exactly she's talking about. But this is just me saying right now, before I leave, I don't see what exactly, how is it freaking trash? I think it's okay. It's okay. It actually just, it intrigues me and it does what needs to be done. You know, it's just, it just clicks to exact moments that it's like, yeah, I need you know, I'm not asking for much, and maybe that's the real messed up part, is everyone who's a part of Miraculous, sorry to be a jerk, but maybe you're asking too much. It's like with Power Rangers, you might be asking for too much, to the point of where now we're breaking a whole entire moment and be like, oh yeah, well, we're not going to be part of freaking damn Super Sentai, no, fuck that, brand new stuff, they're not going to be dependent on Super Sentai, no more, and I'm like, well, then, you want me to pay $200 for the freaking toys over there? Thanks. 
that's a great idea. Good job, guys. Good job. But it's like, yeah, um, in the end, you guys might be asking for due damn as much. Why don't you just allow it to still be everything, but just what happened before, the 2000s, where it was written very, very well. That's what we really want. That's what really should be happening for Power Rangers that you wish to happen. Not, oh, they need to have more screen time. Oh, they shouldn't be constrained with the, the footage. It's like, dude, they figured out how to make it work, and it did good when it was in its prime. I don't see why we're going to have to redo crap, even though it's like, it's just the writers, it's freaking bastards here. For Miraculous, you just might be asking for too much. But we'll see what she has to say, and I'm going to try to refute. And maybe, who knows, maybe I'll be wrong at the very end of this video and say, oh, she might be having a point.